Ooh, it's here. Ha <laughs> ha it's here. Yes, man. Let's see what that says. That says handle with care. It's fragile. Thank you. All right, as you guys, I mean, I don't have a box cutter, so this is kind of hard. Um, so I'm using my old Gap employee badge that I had to wear on my shirt. So if, if a sponsorship, if you if you want to like sponsor me with a box cutter, that'd be like amazing. This is the only thing I hate about opening packages is the fact that so much garbage afterwards. I, I don't like that part. It's not in here. No, I'm just kidding. We got it. <laughs> yes, it's here. Sony ZV-1. It's here, man. The Sony ZV-1. I'm excited, yo. I'm, I'm pumped because I gotta be honest. Vlogging like this is kind of hard. My, my, my arms hurt. This camera's a little heavy. I can't see myself. There's no flip-out screen. So this is gonna solve a lot of problems. So I'm excited. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm... <laughs> Excitement level is up there. Keep in mind, I have used this camera before um, in a vlog that didn't come out yet. Hopefully it's out. Um, and y'all can see the quality that this camera produces because this is like, to me, number one YouTube camera for vlogging, for beginners, anything. Even though it, it has its problems just like every camera does, but like, I don't know, for me, this was like the easiest vlogging camera of all time that I've ever used in my life. So I'm, I'm personally excited like to even own this camera and just to see the, the vlogs upgrading to another level. All right guys, so after unpacking it, um, we're gonna see the difference between switching from my 7D Mark II to the ZV-1. So let's see how much the quality improves in three, two, one. All right guys, we are on the ZV-1. Obviously you can tell the quality changed tremendously, well upgraded. Um, this is 4K footage now, so, but this will be compressed because this video is like 1080p. Unfortunately, the only thing that, that would be a downfall for this camera, and I'm gonna talk about like a full review on it later, but the only thing I would say is that it didn't come with S-Log, um, which Sony is known for, but I'm guessing that's more for their like full frame cameras. So that's that's the only thing. And then another thing would be the battery, but I'll get more into detail in about a week. I'm gonna like test this camera out. Um, I'm actually taking a trip over the weekend. So I'll come back next week and I'll tell you guys like the full story about this camera, the good, the bad, and if you should purchase it or not, so. All right, guys, uh, I am officially back to my desk, to my uh, little studio, as you will. I've been away uh, for quite some time, you know, with the holidays and Christmas and New Year's and traveling to Atlanta. So I'm finally back. This video should have came out like maybe last week, two weeks ago. But obviously due to the times of holidays and COVID, I got pushed back. But anyways, we are not here to discuss my absence we're here to discuss the sony zv1 product that came out two years ago basically for vloggers for youtubers it was made specifically for that purpose and today i'm here to you know share my opinions two years later i, I was shocked you know this was like the first camera that i didn't have a problem with vlogging although there were there were some minor technicalities which we're going to get into um but for the most part th this this camera is amazing this camera right here uh this is the sony zv1 um, as shown before, th this camera is awesome. Now you will see a little variation towards it. I did add an extra lens to it, which obviously for like people who are not really like filmmakers, no, you cannot attach a lens to this camera. However, I say I'm Mr. Magic himself. Let me stop. This, I guess I'll, I'll go straight into like the negatives first about this camera, which isn't a lot, but still. The first thing was the original lens that comes on this camera is just too close to my face. I found myself oftentimes where when I would record, it just, it wouldn't show, you know, a wide enough angle, which most vloggers would want. I think it comes on like 24, which is not terrible, but at the same time, I don't believe it's a full frame camera. You don't get much of the background. It kind of feels like like this big blob, like right here in your face, and it just doesn't look pleasing. So what I did, you know, I did a little bit of research and come to find out that this uh, company on Amazon actually makes um, a micro and a macro lens that uh, you can attach to the ZV-1. So I ordered it for about, what, 15, 16 bucks. Made a tremendous difference in how I vlog. I guess I'll lead into the second problem with this camera. This camera overheats 
really fast. Um, I've had many times, maybe, well, I don't say many times, maybe like four or five times where I was recording and I noticed like a small orange um, light that said, you know, it's about to overheat. And then next thing you know, it automatically stops my recording and shuts the camera down because the temperature on the camera is too high, which is not necessarily like a deal breaker in my opinion, but it does get annoying at times, especially when you're in the moment, everything is going well, or especially when you're in states that's really hot, like Texas or Atlanta, or even just during the summertime when it gets really hot, um, that can be a major issue for some people. Um, not for me. I didn't, I didn't really find too much of a problem. I would like kind of alleviate it by like breaking it into spurts. So instead of recording vlogs, just straight 20 minutes, I would do like maybe two, three minutes at a time, stop the recording, let the camera breathe a little bit. The last negative I would add to this camera is the battery life. The Sony battery that this comes with does not last that long. I'd say I give it about 30, 45 minutes and then it's it's completely dead. However, you can go on Amazon. I'll, I'll probably put a link down below. So this company on Amazon called First Power, it replaces the NPBX1 battery. I don't know if it's not in focus. Oh God, it's like really bright. Wait, actually, but it's, the, it's called First Power on Amazon. Um, I ordered a two pack with a battery pack to charge the batteries and it also charges the original Sony batteries. Well, these batteries actually last longer than the original Sony batteries, which is uh, like the biggest reason why I bought it. Like the Sony regular battery lasts like 30 to 45 minutes. This battery lasts about an hour. All that being said, let's get into the positives. I'm going to run. I'm going to run through this quick because there's so many positives about this camera. For starters, it shoots 4K. We're in 2022 now. Happy New Year's, of course but um, 4K is almost essential now. Yes, you can still shoot in 1080p. I'm not taking that away, um, considering this 70 Mark II that I still use to this day shoots only in 1080p. 4K to me, vlogging wise, just looks so much cleaner, so much crisper. Yes, it is a bigger file to deal with, but it makes that much of a difference when it comes to putting out content. Um, and I absolutely love it. Secondly, flip off screen. We need it. Vloggers especially need it. We need to see ourselves. We need to know that we're in focus. We need to know we're getting as much of the concept of the background and ourselves as much as possible. We need to know that the lighting is great. We need to know everything that's in frame so that when we go into post-production, it's not a complete like, oh my God, I didn't know that that was there. I didn't know that my hair had something in my head. Like you just don't want it. You don't want to find out that your content is bad after the fact. You know what I mean? Front view screens. It helps so much in seeing what the camera picks up, how you can fix yourself in the frames so that when you press record, it's a one time shot. You don't have to re-record anything. I absolutely love that about this camera. Another big thing about the Sony ZV-1 is that it's a built in mic is amazing. It even comes with this fur mic on top which uh, for my filmmakers that don't know, uh, I have a Rode mic for my 7D Mark II, but it's the same concept. It blocks out the wind so that I don't have to worry about wind getting into my sound so that when I go into editing, it's not a problem. Sony ZV-1 comes with that. It comes with a built-in mic already in. I don't have to attach another mic. You still can if you want to, but for my, for my sakes, I don't need it. Uh, sound sounds great. And the last big thing I'll talk about is the fact that it's so small and compact fits in my pocket. Well, it's not heavy at all. So that when I'm vlogging, I can hold it up without, you know, struggling like I used to do with the 70 Mark II or even my older days with the T5i. This camera is just beautiful in every single way possible. I would highly recommend it to any YouTuber, or any vlogger that wants to start their channel in 2022 or is looking for something to improve their content in 2022. This camera does come around like $700 as of right now. You can find deals. I got this camera through trading in my Rebel T5i. If you guys didn't know, on a We Want More channel, I actually posted about trading in my camera and I only paid like 400 or 450 for it. So yeah, I would highly recommend it to anybody that wants to try it out, anybody that is serious about vlogging, anybody who wants that 4K high quality, just wants your, your content to look crispy. I'm, I'm telling you, this, this camera right here is the YouTuber camera. Like it's just a vlogging camera of 2020 and beyond. And this camera came out two years ago, so it's still fairly new. If you're looking for a camera to go with, I would say go with this one. And also, I would highly recommend that you go on Amazon. And uh, I'll, I'll put the, the link down below for where I got this uh, attached lens to. But I would highly recommend you get this lens as well to make your content or make your vlogs not so close up. But you also get the background and your face while still staying clean, 4K, high quality crispy footage but that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i'm back yes yeah, sorry for being away from the channel for a little bit but um yes i'm here to stay make sure to subscribe as always make sure to like so that this content gets pushed out to more and more people so that not only i grow but you grow as well and yeah guys i'm out of here i will see you soon goodbye